Templates are an incredibly easy way to save a lot of time when you're designing more complicated pages documents, and especially if you find yourself designing a single type of document often, you're going to want to use templates and maybe even set up your own templates so that you can have everything set out before you start. I'll give you an example. Let's say I use an invoice and I want to customize their invoice a little bit because I'm always entering in my information instead of the placeholder text stuff. So what I'm going to do now is open up one of their templates. I'll scroll down to the bottom and find the invoice. There it is. I'll take it. And now I'm going to customize it a little bit. So I'll take a graphic, for example, and maybe I want to put a graphic in there somewhere. Now, naturally, I don't want this graphic to displace too much text. So I'll go to the Arrange tab, and I'll go ahead and do no changing of that. So now, instead of having to put all this stuff in every time, I can go ahead and customize it how I like. So let's say I'm not actually shipping stuff. I'm dealing with recording studio work. So... There we go. So I've got this project, and of course, maybe I don't necessarily want to have even these amounts already computed for me, because I like to type in my own stuff. But I'll put some zeros there, just so that I see that that's where that goes. So now, this saves me a little time. I wind up doing this every time, putting in my own name, my own address, all that stuff. So I want to save this as a customized invoice. So what I'm going to do is go to File, and then I will choose Save as Template. So now it will take any changes I've made and go ahead and save it as a template. So do I want to create it and then do it to the template chooser, or do I want to save it to my computer? If I save it to my computer, then anytime I want to open it, I can just open it up and it'll create a new document using that template. If I add it to the template chooser, it's going to show up in that little chooser that you get when you make a new file. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to the template chooser, and I will call it Vanicoro custom invoice. And there's my new template. So if I get rid of this old one, let's shut it down and delete it. So from now on, if I go to my templates, I've got my custom invoice there. I'll hit choose, and there it goes. My name's up there, the photo is there, everything is all set. And if I wanted to further customize this, like get rid of this project title description, start putting stuff in there, I could do that as well. So any further changes, let's say I'll change the terms to upon receipt. I'll leave the invoice number off. In fact, sometimes people just number it with the date and then add a number after it. POs and project titles and stuff I don't often use. So now this is a little bit more customized to what I need it to be. And what I'll do is go ahead and save as a template again. Add to template chooser. And now I've got this issue where I've got two. So I've got my untitled and my previous one. But don't worry, I'm not going to let things get cluttered. Simply right-click your old one and delete it. And now I can rename this one. Right-click it, rename it. And hit return. And now my custom invoice is set. So again, when I make a new one, I should see my invoice with the number 2017. I'll hit choose. And there we go. So now I can even edit this, and if I use the year to proceed my invoice number every time, I can just change it every year, and I can change anything, the picture, all that stuff, and it's very easy to just update and keep a current invoice or a current template of what you want to do. Now, you'll definitely want to learn a little bit about placeholder text and working with different types of text. I'll talk a little bit about that later on.